furry little friend. How you doing, Zebra? Yeah, nice. Oh, YouTube, how's it going? As you can see, we're here, we're in the wilderness. I thought it would be a little more fun to uh, do a cleaning video in the wilderness with some nice animals to help with the zebra cleaning. That's it, zebra, not zebra, if you wanna be politically correct. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're just gonna have to find a watering hole so we can use the laundry system on these later. But for now, we'll be able to make it happen. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do today is take out the laces in this shoe. I'm gonna go ahead and set this down right here, get it out of the way. Um, and then we'll put the shoe tree in there as well. Um, every time I clean a pair of shoes, I put a shoe tree in so I can apply pressure to the toe box. It's gonna allow for a better cleaning, especially out here in the wilderness. You never know what's gonna happen. Hopefully the king of the jungle doesn't come and take my furry friends here with him. We're gonna use the soft bristle brush um, because of the mesh uppers. Don't wanna mess up that material. You wanna create a nice foaming action. Make sure you get enough water soap solution. Already looks better. These things were really thrashed. You do enough uh, hiking, you know, enough safari action, you're gonna ruin some shoes, that's for sure. So just a little quick cleaning tip and whenever you clean a pair of shoes you always want to start with the uppers at least I do that way you don't transfer dirt from the midsoles or soles um, to the upper material as you clean oh, yeah. with these zebras you want to make sure you pay close attention to the ankle section here that tends to get pretty dirty all right, now that I've finished with the soft bristle brush, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to our new all-purpose brush that has slightly stiffer bristles. And I'm gonna go over the, the shoe and it should be fine on this material. It's just gonna allow it to get a better clean without messing up the material and damaging it. You do, however, wanna be gentle when you're using the all-purpose brush, um, just in case you're, the, the material is so delicate that it might you know, ruin it or mess it up. All right, so these shoes are cleaning up really nicely. The next step is gonna to be to use the stiff bristle or sole brush, clean up these midsoles and undersoles, and then basically we'll find the watering hole to use the laundry system and we'll clean these things up because any type of mesh material, if you just clean it with a brush and solution like we did just here, all that dirt and all that grime is just gonna stay in this material. So you definitely wanna get it in the water. Most of the time a washing machine to get that water and dirt and get that out of there to make these things look brand new. So let's go. All right, so overall these things look really good. We do have some spots on the soles and midsoles that I want to hit with our brass bristle brush. This is one of the most effective tools if you want to clean a midsole. Um, so what I'm going to do is just take that, dip that in there, and use this to clean the midsoles. The bristles on here are so fine that it gets in the grooves and allows you to really get a deep clean um, on midsoles. So let's do this. You definitely don't want to use the brass bristle brush on uppers though, especially if they're mesh material. All right, so after doing the pre-treat, I think they look pretty good. As you can see, just by comparing them right here. The left shoe, what I need to do, clean this lace. We'll do that just by dipping it into the solution. You can, do, you can start a fire this way too. So now that we got these things pre-treated, got this, we're gonna go ahead and take this bag, go find ourselves some water so we can finish the cleaning process, and then we'll be on our way. So I just wanna thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Um, we're about ready to hit 400K. You know we're gonna be doing a giveaway, so make sure you check the description below for that information. 
and let's finish cleaning these shoes. All right, we're back at camp. The shoes look awesome. These look really good. We found ourselves a watering hole and now they're looking nice. I'm gonna be able to wear these. All I gotta do is clean this next one right here. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, I'll be giving away 12 pairs of Yeezys this next year in 2018 every month, but you have to be subscribed to our YouTube channel. Don't forget our 400K giveaway, subscribe. We're gonna be giving away the off-whites and all the other goodies. Mystery Shoevenator, I'm out. Um, do I want to do that there or not? Do, uh, I'll, I'll take it from, uh... I don't want to say Mr. Yeezy. Um, I'll be giving away 12 pairs of Yeezys. 12, 12, 12, 12 pairs of Yeezys.